स्टूडेंट्स बात चल रही है कुछ डिजिटल टू डिजिटल कन्वर्जन की एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद आर टॉपिक ऑफ लाइन कोडिंग स्टूडेंट्स लाइन कोडिंग इज अ टेक्निक आउट ऑफ द थ्री टेक्निक्स दैट वी हैव फॉर डिजिटल टू डिजिटल कन्वर्जन लाइन कोडिंग इज ऑलवेज रिक्वायर्ड वी हैव गॉट ब्लॉक कोडिंग दैट मे और मे नॉट बी रिक्वायर्ड एंड देन वी हैव स्क्रैम्बलिंग वंस अगेन दैट मे और मे नॉट बी रिक्वायर्ड Our students, our text, our data can be in the form of text. It can be in the form of numbers. It can be pictures, or it can be audio or a video. Students, all of these different forms of data are expressed or are represented by a sequence of bits. Students, the conversion of these sequence of bits, the conversion of these bits into our digital signal is the process of line coding students in the figure what you can see that we have got a data communication system which consists of a sender hooked up to an encoder there is a link between the encoder and the decoder and then we have got a receiver of the information we've got digital data we are talking about line coding and decoding so it's digital data which needs to be sent over this link using digital signal Now, students, um, on the sending end, this digital data is encoded using the encoder, and then the resulting signal, the digital signal, is sent over the link. At the receiving end, this digital signal is then decoded and converted back to the digital signal, and is handed over to the receiver. Now, students, there are multiple techniques that are available for line coding. There are multiple techniques. Um, that we can categorize line coding into and roughly we can categorize these techniques into five broad categories let's go to the slide and have a look at those five categories so here's the first technique that we have got line coding technique that we have got is unipolar we have got a unipolar nrz nrz stands for non return to zero we have got some polar techniques which include non return to zero return to zero and biphase in the biphase we have got manchester and differential manchester then we have got some bipolar techniques and we have got ami which is alternate mark inversion and we have got pseudo ternary and then we have got some multi level or multi transition techniques um, which are employed in specific use cases that we are going to briefly talk about students in order to understand these line coding techniques it's imperative that you understand how the signal element carries the data elements in each one of these techniques uh, unipolar polar and bipolar are the primarily the most important techniques from an understanding point of view although not all of them are used in today's data communication system 